What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Raid Shadow Legends. We're going to be talking a little bit today about a really cool arena champion that I've been using quite a bit lately to counter an issue that is definitely creeping up uh, in gold for arena. Uh, the speed race is getting really tough now, but there's also a new champion that we just had a 10x4 recently uh, who's starting to become a pretty big problem. If you're like me and you farm gold 4, you probably know who I'm talking about already, and it is none other than the new Void Legendary, Leorius the Proud. Uh, seeing this guy on a lot of arena defense lately, and there's a good reason for it, because he basically has uh, this passive that instantly places an unkillable buff on him for one turn before he receives a fatal hit. Uh, now, in addition to that, his damage increases as his HP decreases by 1% for every 1% of his HP lost. So basically what happens is when this guy gets hit and is going to die, he puts the unkillable buff on himself. And then he's going to hit you with his, uh, his AoE attack, which basically hits you as hard, if not uh, harder, than Trunda's nuke um, when he is basically almost dead. So he, he pretty much one-shots your team, uh, regardless of how much health you have. It's pretty ridiculous. So even if he's the last guy standing, if you don't get rid of him quickly, uh, he can still wipe your offense team. Uh pretty easily so it's been a bit of an issue uh he's kind of like a skull crown on steroids almost skull crown is another champion that has this unkillable uh buff and then allows her to survive and do some damage to your team so we're going to be sh talking about her a little bit today too um but yeah i've been seeing a lot of leo he's uh he's been very difficult to deal with if you don't have this specific champion that we're going to go into next and if you guys have been following my free to play series at all you know i've been using this guy as my arena nuker for quite a while now he's one of my favorite champions in the game very unique champion very cool design and has a really cool kit that is really good for countering those skull crowns and those leoruses you are going to see in arena and that is genbo the dishonored now first off i just love the way this guy looks and when he first came out in the game a while back i think there were a couple people who kind of saw the uniqueness of this kit and realized that he'd be pretty decent to counter certain teams uh, in Arena, first off, he does have a Arena Speed Aura, which is pretty decent, 20%. Uh, hopefully at this point you've got somebody with a little bit of a better aura like Arbiter, uh, Kaimar, or Lord Shazar, but he's usable for that if you don't have anything better. Uh, but the cool thing is, he does have this passive Flinty. He's immune to decrease attack debuffs. Uh, so if they're using a Madam Saris against you, you know, he, can, uh, he won't be affected by that. He'll still be able to have his attack. Uh, and he will ignore unkillable buffs when attacking under that increase attack buff. So basically uh, what he does is he has uh, the Sword Trance, which puts this increased crit rate, increased crit damage for three turns, then gives him an extra turn. So you basically can use this to pump up uh, your nuke, and then you hit him with this uh, Heartless Blitz. And the nice thing about that is it means you only have to build him basically to 70% crit rate. So you have a lot of extra room uh, to fit crit damage into your build, to fit attack into your build. Uh, and we'll take a look at my Gembo on the main account here in just a minute, uh, just to kind of show you uh, how he is built up. But he's got a great kit for dealing with the unkillable, uh, whether it's a Swift Parry uh, set on the enemy team, whether it's a Skull Crown, or whether it's Leorius. So why don't we jump in, we'll take a look at a couple of arena matches real quick, and then we'll come back and take a look at uh, Gembo and how we have him built up here. All right, here we go in the arena. We are going to start off with my free-to-play team, uh, my free-to-play account here, uh, which does have Arbiter, Kaimar, Madam Saris, and then Gembo, of course. We're going to be showing him using uh, that ability to get rid of the unkillable so we can take out these Leorius teams and also just show him generally against some other teams so you can kind of see the damage output uh, that he can give you. We've got a Skull Crown here as well that we're going to use the same concept against because we want to make sure uh, she's not going to hit that unkillable and come back on top uh, and nuke our team. Now they do get a revive off here, but we do have Kaimar so we can reset and basically take them down uh, again. So it's really not a big deal. This also give you an idea again of how much damage uh, Gembo can output. He's a really solid champion. Uh, he's not going to be a nuker on the level of, say, a Trunda, uh, but he can hit pretty hard if you have good enough gear for him. And this will hopefully give you an idea uh, of that. Even here against this Krisk team uh, that we're going to go against, obviously we have Madam Saris and Kaimar who can both strip off those buffs, uh, which is going to be helpful for allowing him to do a little bit more damage. Now we're going to shift on to my main account here. We've got Lydia and Lady Kimmy in here, uh, who's basically doing the same thing Madam Saris would do, stripping those buffs. 
you can see again pretty easily takes out skull crown uh, she's no longer an issue once you have gembo on your team to get rid of that unkillable uh, this is just kind of some slow motion stuff here we're going to take a look just to kind of see some pretty numbers uh, see how high his damage output uh, can be again just to kind of give you an idea there uh, none of these teams are super impressive we're just kind of do a little bit of a damage test. Uh, we want to see those those big uh, 100,000 plus hits. Uh, you can see there 148k on the Arbiter there. So just a little fun here. We'll get into some more serious teams uh, in just a second to kind of show off uh, some of his other abilities. But it's uh, toward the middle of the week in Arena, so we kind of have to take what we can get there. You see 177,000 there on that one shot. Pretty good here. Uh, this is just a Paragon we went against. I thought he might have some annoying... Uh, you know, be a high speed 300 plus paragon with the unkillable trying to pull some shenanigans so you can see there ignore the unkillable uh he didn't proc it or have it there so that's uh but that's what we would have been trying to avoid here we actually go against the hegemon team using my reho uh bone spear i use my hegemon counter teams with the shield set and then she's able to uh basically cleanse the team off and we wanted to try this team out obviously because hegemon is pretty scary in arena a lot of people shy away from him but i wanted to kind of take that on and then also show off Gembo against this Leorius. So we're going to be able to remove the buffs. You see there, look how hard he actually hit us. Uh, let's just kind of show you that. And you see our Gembo actually procced his swift parry, thankfully, and now he's going to be alive uh, to take them out. So that's kind of what we got there. Now, the interesting thing here is Leorius did not proc his unkillable um, for some odd reason, but we took the team down and you can see there our swift parry set actually did come in handy. Uh, because we were able to uh, survive that uh, nuke from their team. Now here we've got the new f uh, the new f champion from the login. Somebody's already pulled him. That sucks for them. Uh, but they had the stone skin set there. You can see again. You know we strip off those buffs, and then Gembo pretty easily deals with both a skull crown and a Leorius there. Uh, not a problem at all for him to take them down. Another skull crown team here. We're not worried about that unkillable. We're going to smack her for 115,000, and we are out. And then finally, we've got a Chris team here again. We've got some shields. We're going to try to strip those away. Uh, we've got another Skull Crown there. We do get a reaction proc on the Krisk, but we hit Skull Crown for 120,000. And it's pretty much game over here. So just to kind of give you a general idea of how he can perform uh, in the arena for you there. All right, so hopefully you got a good look there at Gembo in the arena and how he's pretty good for countering those teams with the unkillable buff on the Skull Crown or the Leorius. And he does hit pretty decently hard. I know he's not going to be a uh, top tier nuker like a Trunda or a Solus or someone like that, but he still hits decently hard. And if you're just farming, you know, lower and mid gold four, he's going to give you quite a bit of mileage there. Um, like I mentioned, you know, we use him on the free to play account, have been for a while, and he allows me to. Uh, farm gold for pretty effectively there um, and it's always nice get that swift parry or whatever procs we've got a way to deal with that thought we would show you just real quick the team is set up here we've got arbiter in the lead of course uh, you can see my arbiters at 348 not really that great anymore for gold four but it, it gets the job done most of the time and i don't have to use my go second team we got gembo here uh you see here we have him on auto to do the sword trance as the opener and then fire off that heartless blitz immediately after so he's going to get that big shot in uh, I've got my Lydia here. She's one of my faster champions on the account at 316. She's in there to put out the decrease defense uh, so that Gembo can hit a little bit harder. And then we do have Lady Kimmy in here. Uh, basically, I have her opening up with her um, removal of the buffs from each team so she can hopefully strip off any shield buffs that are there. Uh, I could use my Madam Saris here, but she's not speed tuned uh, to this team. My Gembo is actually too fast for her, so he would go before her. Uh, so what I would need to do is kind of rebuild my one Madam Saris, who I haven't been using that much on this account anymore uh, since I got Lady Kimmy and some other champions, but we could use Madam Saris, and as you saw on the free-to-play account, that's basically what we do there. We we do the, the decreased defense, we do the buff strip to get rid of the shields ahead of Gembo to attack, so we can hit a little bit harder, and so that's basically how we uh, kind of have it working out there. But let's go ahead and back out of here. We'll go into our champions and take a look at how we have Gimbo built. Now, I actually did just uh, finally bring him up to six stars uh, here recently. I, I built him over a clan versus clan this last time out because I've had him for a while in this account, but I just haven't been using him because I've been using some different uh, teams in the arena. I've been using a ghost second team a lot now that the speed race is getting a lot faster. Uh, I've been using Ethos as my main nuker 
uh, when I don't use my ghost second team. So we haven't really had a need for Gembo, but now that Leorius uh, is starting to come up a lot more, we had the 10X for him. So a lot of people wailed out to get him in that event. I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and build the Gembo finally. And I do have a little bit better gear on this account compared to my free to play account. I'll throw up a screenshot uh, of my free to play Gembo. So you can kind of see how he's built. He's in broken sets uh, just to try to get the best build I could there. But here on my, on my main, I had a lot better gear, so I was able to build him a little bit better. And we actually did go with a swift parry set, uh, just because we had really good attack stats on a lot of it. We had some good speed rolls uh, on a lot of this gear, so kind of take a look at it real quick. See there, we got the crit damage, the crit rate. And again, the nice thing about him, you only have to hit that 70% crit rate, uh, since he does buff himself up to 100%. So it allows you to put a lot more crit damage on him, uh, especially allows you to use crit damage gloves. Uh, that way you can get the maximum crit damage out of his build. Uh, you see we had a nice attack percent chest plate for him that had a little bit of speed on it. We had a pretty nice helmet with that crit rate. We're trying to build that crit rate off of a couple of gear pieces so that we can then use the rest of the gear to build up that crit damage a little bit. Pretty decent speed shield here. We had, you know, two speed rolls, two crit rate rolls. And I haven't even glyphed him up yet because I'm, I'm out of glyphs. I'm on the uh, maximum roll five star 30 glyphs or whatever uh, mission right now. So kind of going through that has burned out a lot of my glyphs. And then, of course, we actually did have a halfway decent set of speed boots here in the Swift Parry set. Uh, most of the time I'd use Swift Parry on a revive champion or a defensive champion. I don't want to have die off. But in this case, it's kind of fun because we had a lot of good attack rolls on it. And it's also kind of cool because there's chances where Gembo might die and then hit that unkillable buff and be able to wipe the enemy team with his nuke. So kind of a, a double-edged sword for him there, which is kind of nice. Nothing special on the banner. We were hoping for more speed, but we only got the one roll. Only got the one roll on the attack, uh, you know, kind of run in the middle, crit damage. Amulet, and then we got a somewhat decent attack ring that hit attack twice. Was hoping for the three times. I uh, didn't have anything better to use at the time with our Shadowkin accessories. So that's kind of how we have... Uh, his build out there. We take a look at the total stats. You got 31,000 HP, which is kind of low, but we're only using him basically in the arena uh, to counter those teams. Almost 5k attack, a little bit short. We'd like to get that up a little higher. And then we have uh, 1800 defense again. We don't really care about that. We're just trying to strike first and hit really hard. 78% uh, crit rate. Again, just have to hit that 70% number to uh, take advantage of his ability to up that crit rate. 271% uh, crit damage. One of my better crit damage champions on my account, quite honestly, with how much we were able to build there. And we actually did go with Helm Smasher instead of Flawless Execution. I figured at this point we had enough crit damage to where we would be better off taking Helm Smasher since we don't have the Savage or the Cruel Gear uh, on him. But you can kind of take a look at the way I've done his masteries there. You don't really need accuracy on him. Uh, so I'm not quite sure. You know, I just kind of went down the support tree. Uh, to try to grab some of these uh, Lore of Steel and Cycle Magic there so he could recharge some of his abilities. But uh, other than that, pretty standard for wanting to get that first hit in and do some damage. So that's kind of how I have my Gembo built. And again, you know, I'm just using him uh, in Gold 4 to farm whenever we get one of those unkillable teams with a Skull Crown or a Leorius. The Proud. Uh, now there is another raid content creator, I am Steeman, who has done a really good video on Gimbo uh, for use in Platinum Arena. So uh, I'm not a Platinum Arena player yet. Hopefully I'll get there someday. We're still working on getting some champs and getting some gear on the account. Uh, but I'm gonna put his video down below in a pinned comment. You can go check it out. He has a Gimbo build that he uses um, for Platinum Arena and does fairly well with it there. So you guys can check that out if you're looking for that. Um, higher end arena content obviously I've been to cater more toward the you know middle gold four audience just try to help you guys out so you can keep getting your gold medals for your great haul but I thought it'd be worth taking a look at Gembo because he is a viable solution for dealing with uh, Leorius and also Skull Crown and uh, even those annoying swift parry sets that you might run into uh, in the arena uh, so anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video uh, as always if you have any questions about anything feel free to leave it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get you an answer as soon as I can so I always hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you again next time.